In this video, I will show you how you can create Google Slides in bulk automatically from the data present in your Google Sheets. Yes, we just need to set an automation in this Google Sheets application and in this Google Slides application with the help of an automation software. And once this automation is ready, what will happen? Every time you add the new data in your spreadsheet, using that data, in bulk, the certificates, the Google Slides presentation will be created in a specific Google Drive folder automatically without doing anything manually. Okay, so before we start creating this automation, firstly, you will have to create a spreadsheet in which you will have to add the details which you are about to insert in your Google Slides. And further, you will have to create a generalized Google Slides template in which you will have to add the video. Now, what are these variables? So, the values packed with the pair of curly braces are called as variables and whatever the values you want to keep on changing automatically from your spreadsheet data, you will have to add those values in the form of variable. Yes, you cannot directly add the name of the student. You will have to add the variables here. And in place of these variables, the name of the student will appear automatically. Even this competition name will appear automatically. And in fact, you can also insert these images dynamically in your Google Slides presentation. You just need to first upload a random image here. And in place of this image, these images will appear automatically. So let's start creating this automation. So right now I'm expecting that you have already created this spreadsheet as well as this Google Slides template. Once it is done, reach out here by typing pavli.com slash connect and I am an existing user so I am already logged in here. You can create a free account in this integration and automation software from this sign up free button and in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. So once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, you will have to click on this blue button directly and then you will have to provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay. So right now I have directly pasted a random name that is create Google Slides in bulk from Google Sheets. Okay. And after that, it is going to ask you to select a folder in which you want to create your automation workflow. Okay. So usually I add all my main workflows in this main workflow folder. So yes, I am selecting the same and now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes. Okay. So these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So whenever something happened in your first application, then automatically do this in your next application. Okay. So in this way, you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation. Okay. So now according to our use case, I want that whenever I add any data in this Google Sheets application. Well, I think I shouldn't mention that whenever I add the data because this automation is all about generating the Google Slides in bulk. Okay. So data will be picked from this spreadsheet in bulk and in this way the slides will be created automatically okay so that is why i have selected this google sheets application in the trigger application and now i will be selecting google slides here as an action application okay so in this way by clicking on this plus icon you can add as many as action steps as you want and connect to different applications and automate your complex business processes okay so let's connect to these two applications applications with the Pabli Connect so that we can collect this data inside this dashboard and in this way we are going to automate the whole process. So selecting the trigger event that is your updated spreadsheet row and you will notice a webhook URL using which we are going to build a connection in our Google Sheets and in this Pabli Connect dashboard. For that, you can follow these instructions carefully. So simply copy this webhook URL, then go back to your spreadsheet and then click on extension, then click on add-ons, then click on get add-ons and search for the Pabli Connect webhooks add-on. And you will notice that in my case, this add-on is already installed because I have already created several automations. But make sure that you firstly install this add-on by clicking on the install button. And once it is installed, 
you will have to click on this extension once again so that you can find the same add-on from here now click on this initial setup and here exactly we are going to paste the same webhook url which we have got via pabli connect okay so let me copy it once again and you can notice it has started waiting for the webhook response basically it is waiting for the spreadsheet data okay so let me first remove the existing data now i will be pasting the same webhook url further it is asking for the trigger column so i am going to add this last column that is e okay you can also read the instructions the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to provide a column name on filling of which you want this automation to trigger or we can say the data should be sent to public connect automatically okay so yes i have added the same and as soon as i click on the send test button you will notice that first row data will be sent to public connect all right did you notice the response is received immediately and currently we have the data of first row of our spreadsheet we do not have the whole data because firstly we are going to create a single slide only using the single spreadsheet row data and in the end we will check whether our automation is working fine with one data if it will work we are going to create the certificates we are going to create the google slides in bulk okay so clicking on submit and closing this box and then coming back to the dashboard of pabli connect and let's check the details here we have the same whatsapp number the same trigger column the same student name the same email address we also have the spreadsheet name and other data okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our google sheets and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time you add the data here the details will be captured via public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture the incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay but for that you will have to enable a very important setting that is the send on event okay i'm repeating this thing once again if you want this automation to work in real time you will have to enable the send on event option okay and if you want this automation to work in bulk you will have to go with the send all data option okay in the end i will again show you the real example again show you the difference for now i'm just telling you that if you will enable this option every time someone will add a new data here that data will be sent to public connect automatically okay so the first step of our automation is done now moving further i will show you how using the same spreadsheet data you can create a google slide it's automatically so yes you will have to go with the same action even that is create presentation from template then click on connect click on add a new connection and if you are connecting google slides with public connect for the first time go with sign in with google but if you have connected it with public connect multiple times you can also go with existing connection okay basically you just need to provide the access of your gmail account of your google account okay so here you can notice it is connected and now whatever the templates are already available inside my google slides account have started visible here so you tell me which template i will be selecting remember we have created this template that is google slides template okay so as soon as i select this template you will notice whatever the values whatever the variables we have added inside our template the same variables will be visible here as the field name so yes we have this competition name as well as the student name basically the competition name as well as the student name okay so we just need to provide the data here and in this way the data will be updated in our google slides automatically okay so i hope you are getting my point and in this title of new presentation you will have to provide the name to your new google slides okay so if i will specify any value manually here what will happen for every new presentation the the name will remain same so i cannot provide any name manually here i am going to map this data now what is this mapping and from where i am going to provide the data remember we have already captured the data as a response of our trigger step and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy this data again and again and paste below again and again 
as I have told you, I'm going to map this data and mapping is very simple. You just need to click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down. Select that data. Okay, so here I'm interested. I'm planning to add the name of the person and after that I am planning to add the certificate or how about I add the certificate word in the starting. Okay, certificate for and in this way the name of the student will appear and in this bracket I am planning to add the email address to make the presentation name more unique all right in order to avoid the duplicacy I'm adding this email address also okay certificate for demo student and in this way email address will also appear so the template presentation is selected the title is also decided now it is asking for the location that where you would like to save your Google slides which you are about to create in bulk okay so i have already created a folder in my google drive with the name all certificates of student okay so how about i select the same all right you can find the same folder here further it is asking for those two values two variable values which i can provide again from my spreadsheet data basically i am going to map this data okay so i have mapped the competition name now i will be mapping the name of the student all right it is done okay so i think the second step is done basically i have provided all the details i have even clicked on this button now i am waiting for the response to be generated here if that response is positive that means our automation is working and you will notice in this google slide folder one template basically one google slides will be created with the same name and even with the same details let me even open the same and show you everything okay so did you notice the same name that is certificate for demo student and the email address so basically what is going to happen the name as well as this email address will be replaced when our automation will Will work in real time or we can say when our automation will work in bulk okay and did you notice the name and the competition name is also replaced now you must be thinking how we can replace this image remember we have added different images in front of our competition in front of the student name so i would like to update these images dynamically okay so you just need to come back to your google slides basically your pably connected dashboard not google slides pably connected dashboard and after that you will have to click on this plus icon and here you will have to search for google slides once again but this time instead of going with this specific action even that is create presentation from template we will be going with this upload up image in presentation okay i hope you have understood clicking on connect and again i'll go with the existing connection and it will be connected immediately and now you just need to provide the url of your image which you can provide here in the slide one image one field so suppose you have added five images in your google slides presentation in your google slides banner in such cases what will happen those five fields will be visible here automatically currently we have added a single image only so that is why a single field is visible here okay so again i'm expecting that you have understood what i'm trying to explain okay so firstly we are going to select the presentation again so now we would like to update the image not in the generalized template but in the template but in the google slides which has got created with the help of of automation so i need to provide the name of this specific template but again if i will choose this name from this drop down what will happen every time the images will be inserted in the same presentation so that is why instead of selecting any value from this drop down i am going to map this data for that you will have to firstly enable this mapping button then you will have to remove this existing id and then you can map the id of your google slides presentation from the previous step response remember we have just created a new presentation and we even have the id of that presentation which we have mapped here so i think i have provided all the details no the image url is still left so how about i pick the image url again from my google sheets data i will have to look for that all right this is the image to be inserted and in this replace method option 
it is your choice whether you would like to go with center inside or center cropped weather i have selected the same now i will be clicking on the save and send test request button and i'm really expecting that this image will be replaced here automatically well the image has replaced here automatically i think but because we have updated the value as same so that is why the same image is visible here for now i am removing this and i am going to add the image url of this singing so that i can show you how images will be replaced okay so that you can understand okay so i have added it for now manually waiting for the response let me show you and did you notice how the image has been replaced okay so in this way when our automation will work in real time the image url will be picked automatically and in this way the details will be updated automatically okay so let me once again select the same image url and again telling you this url will be replaced automatically okay how about i click on this button once again so that i can replace the i can add the relevant image because this was the drawing competition and the image should be of drawing competition only okay coming back and i think our automation is now working absolutely fine at least for the first row data okay so if you are satisfied with your first row data results that means your automation is working absolutely fine okay so once it is done you can enable that option and as soon as you do that what will happen in bulk the google slides presentation will be created in the folder which you have created here okay so right now you can notice only two presentation two google slides are available but within a blink of eye in bulk the google slides presentation has been created i have not done anything i've just set this automation and have enabled that google sheets option and in this way my automation is working in the back end okay you just need to make sure that your automation should be enabled from here if it is enabled you can even close pably connect sit back and relax yes you just need to set this automation inside pably connect once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this three step automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box okay so you can click on that link sign up for free into the pably connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pably connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video